For many decades, the members of the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons, RACS, have demonstrated a desire to contribute to improving the general health and well-being of First Australians. Our college recognised that Indigenous populations were overrepresented in every way in the poor determinants of health and that the health of our Indigenous populations in both Australia and New Zealand was a public health problem of serious proportions. The college committed to addressing the health discrepancies of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and Maori populations of Australia and New Zealand and the RACS Indigenous Health Committee was founded by Dr Kelvin Kong, Australia's first Aboriginal surgeon, in 2008. Combining Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander fellows, expert community and medical specialty knowledge and experiences, the Indigenous Health Committee is uniquely positioned to provide RACs with the necessary support, guidance and advice on how the surgical community can best serve First Nations people of Australia and New Zealand. In subsequent years, RACs submitted that Indigenous people would be more likely to present for medical treatment and comply with treatment guidelines if increased numbers of Indigenous people were represented in the medical workforce at all levels of the provision of care. Furthermore, RACS acknowledged that Australia and New Zealand have a severe shortage of Indigenous surgeons, and at the time there was no evidence of change to this disproportionate underrepresentation of Indigenous healthcare workers in the field of surgery. Of note, at that time, there were almost 7,000 active RACS fellows, trainees and SIMGs, translating to roughly 3,500 patients per surgeon in Australia. According to 2016 ABS data, there were approximately 800,000 First Australians. If applying the same population per surgeon formula to First Australians, there should have been 219 First Australian surgeons. There were two. In 2017, the Australian Department of Health commissioned the Australian Indigenous Doctors Association, AIDA, to work with specialist medical colleges towards increasing the numbers of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander doctors in specialty fields. In 2019, the Council of Presidents of Medical Colleges endorsed the nine minimum and six best practice standards developed by this collaboration. Over subsequent years, much work was done by RACS and the IHC to address many of the standards defined in the Growing Our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Medical Specialist document. Significant changes were made to the workings and the face of the college, development of the 10th competency was underway, scholarships and opportunities for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander medical students, junior doctors and trainees were expanded, and selection initiative policy guidelines were created and taken up by most of the subspecialty boards. The next step needed to be taken to coordinate all of these advances and progress towards active recruitment of medical students and junior doctors into our college, with which, which was working towards being a culturally safe and inviting place for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. This was to become the RACS Indigenous Surgical Pathway Program. At the AIDA conference held in Darwin in October 2019, and in alignment with the development of the RACS Innovate Reconciliation Action Plan and the Top End Health Service RACS Reflect Reconciliation Action Plan, it was determined that Darwin was an ideal place to pilot this project. The key features of the ISPP are whole of college cultural shift, scholarships, networking and research opportunities, financial assistance, selection initiatives guaranteeing a post to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander applicants who achieve the minimum standards for selection, cultural and career directed support and mentorship, active targeted recruitment, development of key stakeholder relationships and minimum standards, and development of a workshop to guide fellows of our college who endeavour to support Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander medical students, junior doctors and trainees at all stages along the pathway to becoming a surgeon. A small working group was formed with Damien Loisu, Karen Gordon-Clark, Kelvin Kong and myself, reporting to and with support of MENA, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Advisory Group, the Indigenous Health Committee and Paul Cargill, Manager of Fellowship Services, RACS. In our first 12 months, we've established relationships, formed partnerships and fostered engagements with AIDA, Top End Health Service Executive, Flinders NTMP and AILC developed a suite of educational tools and media, such as podcast, animation, surgical news article, and merchandise, and participated in the AILC Diversity Mentorship Indigenous course, the LIME Network Workshop, and AIDA, Growing Our Fellow Sessions, and presented to numerous groups, both locally and externally. Out of necessity, our initial recruitment was targeted to those who had previously self-identified to Kelvin Kong as being interested in pursuing a career in surgery. 
We've begun expanding our recruitment base and have presented twice now to the Flinders NTMP, recently visited Pitao Tarkin, the University of Newcastle Indigenous Medical Student Mentorship Group, and also participated in the online AIDA Growing Our Fellows session. We are currently working with the AILC to tailor their diversity mentorship two-day workshop to being surgically focused and bolster it with RACS, IHC and ISPP education. This aims to enable RACS fellows, RACS and health service administrators and other support staff to ensure safe and welcoming working environments and pathways for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander junior doctors wishing to pursue surgical careers in their own jurisdictions or simply improve skills for mentoring Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander medical students, junior doctors and trainees in the future.